All General Ledger reports have the capability of creating virtually an unlimited number of saved report settings, which allows for easy report printing. All MASS 90 and MASS 200 reports will one day include the Save Settings capability as we continue to enhance each module. Let's start out by taking a tour through the General Ledger Trial Balance Report and see how the Report Settings feature works. In the first field, we see Report Setting. This is a code or a name that is assigned to a specific set of criteria so it can be saved for future printing. Using the Lookup Engine, we can see all the Report Settings for the Trial Balance Report. Each separate report in the general ledger will have a report setting name of standard with the actual report name as a default description. The standard reports will contain all the default options and selection criteria and cannot be deleted. Let's select our departmental trial balance report. Here we have different setting options. We have different types associated to the report, public, private, and read only. The public type allows everyone complete access to this report. This includes the ability to change the report settings and save them, print the report, and save the report to another report setting. The private type allows only the operator who created the report to have access to it. The read-only type gives everyone access to read the report. However, only the original owner can save changes to it or delete it. This allows other operators the ability to print the report and or save the report to another setting, but not save changes to this particular report. Let's go ahead and leave this as a public report. Each user can select a default report for the current company. By specifying a report setting as a default report, you can effortlessly and instantly print your most common version of the report. The Print Report Settings option allows you to print a hard copy of the various options and selections that were used to produce the report. This allows the individual that is reviewing the report to more easily determine what information is or isn't included. If you have selected this option, a separate cover page will be printed for each copy. The three-hole punch option prints the report with a larger margin, which allows enough space for you to three-hole punch the report. The number of copies is also located on the main screen, so that multiple copies of the report can be printed without going through printer setup. When multiple copies are printed, the collated checkbox allows you to print each copy of the report in proper binding order. The next section of the report is broken out into two sections. First, we have the main panel, then we have the select panel. The main folder contains a sorting option and options that are available for this particular report. Let's have our sort report by option set to department. So this is a departmental report. Types of balances to print can be ending balances only, beginning balance activity and ending balance, or beginning balance only. We'll leave this as it is. Here fiscal year, starting period, and ending periods can also be selected. And we can also select to print accounts with zero balances. As you can see, the Select folder contains all the selection criteria for our report. At closer inspection, we see that the Select fields are available regardless of the options I selected on the main folder. Here, we're going to run this report specifically to Department 10. If you take a look at the Printer Name fields, you'll notice it contains a drop-down box. This drop-down list allows you to select another printer without having to go into Printer Setup. It also contains an export email option, a print to deferred option, and a data only export. The data only export allows us to export this data out and suppressing all of the header information. We could at this time go ahead and save the changes we've made to the report, save this as another report setting, or delete this report. And go ahead and save this report now. Let's go ahead and preview our report and take a look at the results. As you can see, this report contains all of the information for Department 10, or Sales and Marketing Department. Using the Saved Report setting for the General Ledger reports gives you added flexibility saving your most common selection criteria without having to go through the selection criteria each time you want to run this report. 